your air fryer is smelling more like a fast food joint that hasn't been cleaned since the 90s, keep watching. Oh, and you don't want to miss what I found when I took apart my beloved air fryer. And if you have a newer air fryer that is currently exuding a nasty, plasticky chemical smell, I've got help for you too. My name is Kathy and I empower air fryer owners to actually use their air fryer. You ready? Let's go. First, I gotta warn you, especially my new air fryer owners, you are about to experience some seriously disturbing images and they might make you question your life choices. But fear not, I am not here to scare you away from the world of air frying. I mean, have you seen the goodness that comes out of these things? It is life changing. And lucky for you, I've got a boatload of amazing recipes on my YouTube channel. And yes, that's a shameless plug. Go subscribe and tap that bell to turn on notifications. First, if that new air fryer smell is still lingering, don't panic. This is what I like to do. Grab an oven safe dish and just fill it with some vinegar water and a little lemon juice and pop it right inside, close it up, and then run it at 400 degrees for like 10 to 20 minutes. Don't worry, it's not gonna hurt a thing. If the smell is just nasty, you can run it outside. And right now, let's just quickly talk about the three simple steps you can do on a regular basis to keep your air fryer from looking like this nasty thing. Many times when I'm cooking, I use parchment paper, which means there will be hardly anything that you have to clean up. Now, I've tested this type of parchment paper and this one, and either one will work great. Of course, this is going to keep the mess contained a lot better than this one with the holes in it. But if I'm cooking foods that are like fatty or juicy and I want the drippings to go beneath the food, I'm not going to use this. And I also don't usually use these when I'm cooking frozen foods. So keep this in mind anytime you're going to cook. I have these plus all my favorite air fryer tools listed at airfryertools.com. The second thing I do is after cooking, once it's cooled down, I will get a paper towel and just wipe out any drippings. If there's just a few crumbs, Honestly, just wiping it with a damp paper towel will solve the problem and I'm done. But if there are drippings and some gooey stuff, I'll wipe those out and then I bring in the big guns, the Dawn Power Wash. All you have to do is just mist it inside the basket or the tray and inside of the whole pan and then you just let it sit for like 10 minutes. Then I'll just get another paper towel and wipe out all the grease. What this will do is just have less grease going down your drain, which we don't want, right? And then all you have to do is rinse it all out. I kind of like to use a spray feature on my nozzle just to give it one last power wash and boom, it is looking sparkly clean. If I'm cooking multiple foods on the same day, depending on what it is, I will do this in between recipes. Then the last tip is I have these velvety washcloths also listed at airfryertools.com. And I tell you what, when you get them wet, they remove grease and grime so nicely. But in this case, I'll use these to clean the inside of the air fryer. And of course, you gotta make sure that it's all cooled down in there. But you can even wipe the top of the inside of the air fryer. Have you ever taken a look down there? If you do this on a regular basis, it will never end up looking this nasty. Consistently doing these three simple steps are really going to help maintain your air fryer. And honestly, it's hardly any effort and it's going to save you a lot of headache later. Now it's time to dive into deep cleaning, which I would recommend doing every few months before things get really bad. You'll note sometimes like if you have an air fryer basket with grooves and things like this, there's going to be this big buildup. So there again, you can use that Dawn Power Wash, let it sit. And then this is where I love to get this little washcloth and really get in between each groove of the basket. I mean, look at all the grease and grime that these washcloths pick up. If you need a little more oomph, then grab a sponge. Just don't use the abrasive part of your sponge because that will just start tearing up that nonstick coating on your air fryer. The first thing you need to do, of course, is unplug your air fryer and make sure it's cooled down. And now it's the really scary part. Have you looked at what's happening inside the top of your air fryer? A couple of things. Obviously, inside the air fryer, there's not the nonstick coating, so you can be a little bit more rough and tough with it. You could even make like a baking soda paste. I like to use hydrogen peroxide with baking soda and you can just scrub that here on the metal parts of the air fryer. You could use a toothbrush. You could even use an abrasive sponge. 
It's just metal. We don't really need to worry about scratching it. Then I'll get my cloth wet again and just rinse it all out. Remember, we're not going to go immerse this in here. So whatever you put in has got to be rinsed out with a washcloth or sponge. In my opinion, the washcloth is going to perform a little better than the sponge when it comes to rinsing out. So once I've finished wiping everything down, you know what? It's not perfect. It's not back to 100%, but it's better, right? It's better. Nope, my cloth was just nice and damp, so there's really not a ton of moisture in here. And by the way, I made way too much paste here. I did not use that much. Then I'm just gonna plug my unit back in, pop the basket back in the air fryer, and now I'm just gonna run it at the highest temperature for about 10 more minutes, and that's just gonna cook off any remaining residue. All right, now it's time for the risky part. I've had so many of you ask if there's a way to remove the burner so we can really clean under it and clean that fan area. Today, I'm gonna try it out and see if it ruins my beloved air fryer. Now, disclaimer, I am not an expert when it comes to dismantling small appliances. So if you choose to do this, you are doing it at your own risk. I am not responsible for what you choose to do in your own home. Let's see what happens now. And here we are, it's been a few days. Here's the update. We had our old recalled model of the Kasori Pro 1. If you haven't seen that recall video, be sure to watch it right here. And we want to see if we could disassemble it to clean that burner area. Well, fun fact, it requires so much disassembling, it'll be too challenging to reassemble. You'll see if you wanted to remove this burner so you could get underneath here, it would require you to take this whole thing off because the burner is attached to this that's inside the top of the air fryer. And I tried commercial grade cleaners and it still did not clean the top burner area. The other super crazy thing is the basket that was part of this recalled air fryer. Well, it had been in a college student home and was pretty nasty. I tried all of the things to get that gross basket clean and it did not work. So my best advice is to make your air fryer last longer is to clean it, maintain it just like you saw me do in this video. And if yours is beyond repair or this just seems like too much work, these are my recommended air fryers right here. And if your air fryer is all clean, you gotta go make some of this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.